Hello everyone, GameDog here, and welcome to the demo for Knuckle Sandwich. Uh, this is a game that's been in development for the longest time, and I've actually been, been like, following it for quite a while too on Twitter. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually getting to try it though. They talked about releasing a demo a few days ago as of the time I, I'm playing this, and it... I, let's see what it's like. <laughs> uh, if you've never heard of this game before, it's... It appears to be an Earthbound-like, but the biggest difference being that, like, instead of, like, timed hits, it has, like, minigames, um, when you, like, do attacks and stuff, and a lot of these minigames feel very WarioWare-inspired, which is quite unique. <laughs> this game's art style is something else, too. Like, it, it honestly does remind me a lot of Wario as well, how it kind of has that, like, kind of... It kind of has, like, this, like this, like, indie grunge kind of aesthetic. It's hard to explain, but I really like it a lot, and it's the kind of thing that feels kind of hard to pull off well, and it just pulls it off well. <laughs> hey, mate, I didn't see you there. Uh, sorry, I just wanted- I just wasn't expecting you so soon. Let's get started straight away. What should I call you? Uh, hold on. Cool, so it's, uh, dang. I'm not gonna remember that. To me, I think you'll always be the new kid, huh? Oh, so while we're here, do you want to change the settings? What settings do we have? Okay, keep full screen off. Final Fantasy! <laughs> I like some of these. Go for Final Fantasy, that's so funny, that's an option. Battle speed, damage reduction. Oh, that's nice! Okay, some people just like the game being like that. Oh my god, it's got zero experience from Kingdom Hearts, that's so good. Oh, okay, so it's got all its options in place if, like, you know, you're not super used to these sorts of games or want to play it more for the story, I guess. I feel like I'm gonna put that out. I'm gonna assume a lot of this I can, like, change later or something. Yeah, whatever. Cool. That's actually all I had to go over right now. See you in the bit. I don't know how long this demo is, but, like... I don't know, most demos I play of this sort are around, like, an hour or so. I just want to, like, see what this is like, you know? <laughs> I want to actually play it for once. I know this is the protagonist. Uh... That is a very slow run speed. I think the bus is gonna turn up soon. Uh, up this way, bud. Hey, mate, welcome to Bright City. Remember me? We talked about it a minute ago. You can call me Bus Driver. Anyway, where am I taking you today? What's that? Did you say the Job Center? Sure. This is the best place uh, to find one of those fancy city jobs. You are new in town, so you obviously gotta get some work. Take a seat. That's city people for you. We're almost at the job center. Sit type or stand. Ah, there's the run. Okay, actually, that gets me curious. Uh, go to...
Oh, how come I can't change a bunch of this stuff now that I'm here? Huh, I was gonna see if, like, auto-run is an option, because I hate holding down a button to run in video games, but, yeah, whatever. Hey, what's up? My name is Gorg. As you can see, I'm pretty busy packing. My brother and I are opening a new shop in South City. Maybe we'll see you there. Vox's bed. My sister and I just bought a shop in South City, so we're moving there today. I'm super excited. Maybe we'll see you there. The run speed still feels kind of slow, even though I am running now. Aww. <laughs> hey, nice to see you here. I do a mild 10k run every afternoon. Running is the best. Did you know you can run too? All you gotta do is hold C. What? You look terrible. Talk about rough. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you mean I can hold items? You mean just equip them? Hmm. Maybe that's for like puzzles or something. I have decided to clean up my act and turn away from a life of crime. I'm playing this cool game right now. I think it's about this kid who moves to a city and looks for a job. I'm an hour in and actually it's been rude to- it's- It'd be rude to spoil the game for someone who hasn't played it yet. I'm gonna stay off the internet before someone ruins it for me. I have a heap of rare items for sale. Would you like to buy something? Good choice. But just hand over your... Oh, wait a second. I don't have any fortune rocks. Get out of here. Fortune rocks. Okay. You know, it's almost impossible to find a stable job in this day and age. Personally, I'd rather take a nap and play video games all day. You know, there is something about these picnic blankets. They uh, would be super uncomfortable re as regular blankets, but when they're on the ground, they're the best. Oh, here we are. We haven't seen your face around here before, so that must mean you're new here. And that he's welcome to Bright City. I'm from the local gym, just a bit north of here. Can I ask you something? Great. So, first question. Would you say that your, um, that peak physical performance is your number one priority? Sure. Nice. Next question. Do you like the sweat? No? That's a shame. One last question. Do you like to play weekly? A weekly membership fee. I guess we can't all be perfect. Thanks for taking the time to answer my questions. I can tell you're very interested in an individual. Maybe, uh, maybe you're the one we're looking for. Maybe you'll, we'll come and find you in the next two to five business days. Maybe you should take care. Oh, bye. <laughs> hey, this building is great. It's full of jobs. Full of jobs. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the job center. I'm very confident that um, you're here for a job. We can certainly help with that. Unfortunately, we're a bit busy right now, so you'll have to take a number. Great, your number is 128. When your number is on the screen, you can go through. It shouldn't take too much. I Oh, look, it's done. You can go through now. Good luck. Is that a reference to something? <laughs> oh! I... 
Okay, giving generic NPC characters a dialogue, like, like a generic dialogue so you don't have to write it all is smart from, like, a game design perspective, but that's kind of scary how they talk. <laughs> Makes, like, a gnashing sound when you hit it, too. Hey, it's just, I'm just making sure you got here, okay? I won't want anything bad happen to you on your first day in town. Did you know that everyone who moves here comes from uh, comes to the job center? I think it's Bright City's way of evaluating all its residents. A bit weird if you ask me, but hey, if the locals are cool with it, then who am I to judge? Anyway, before you go, I want to ask you something. I don't normally do this, but would you like to save your game? Cool. I'll catch you with you later. Good luck. I guess you're here for a job. I have some forms for you to fill out. It'll help us figure out what role you're best suited for. Let's get started. What do you do in your spare time? Uh. Oh! Wait. Oh god, I can influence this. What? I, I thought it wanted me to type this. Uh. Oh god. <laughs> the controls are deliberately bad, I'm assuming. <laughs> oh. That's not true. Well, I, um, I have seen weirder answers. I'll run the results just a second. It will take just a minute to get the rest. Oh, look at that, it's done. It looks like we have four jobs available for you today. Want to find out what they are? <laughs> Welcome to Game Show. <laughs> Hello there, puny human. Um, I want to welcome you to Game Show. Today, as your host and new friend, I will help you find your dream job. For the predic- um... Predetermined list, of course. Anyway, spin the wheel and see where your fate takes you. Dancer. Yes, a dancer! This is a very exciting opportunity. Enter the door to the left where, um, when you are ready. Uh, Bobby Fulbright? Who are- <laughs> So, you're the new dancer. Looks like they are letting anyone apply these days. Oh! Let's see what you're made of. Don't worry, these outfits can make anyone look good. Now then, I bet you can't keep up with me. Is this a rhythm minigame? What the?! I was trying something there, it didn't work out. I do like rhythm mini games like this. It's like ever so slightly not synced with the music. <laughs> if I had that, come on. Why are we doing something like this before any battle?
bad for a first try, I missed like three, I think. Incredible, we have never seen such heavenly rhythm. I can't have someone better than me around here, though. Uh, you call that dancing? Get out of here. <laughs> you sure messed that up. Haven't I ever spat the wheel? I hate how you move. <laughs> Space cleaner? Why, wow, you got a space cleaner? What does that even mean? I guess there's only one way to find out. On game show. Oh my god, it's the ending of Yik. What is <laughs> Hey there, so you're the new recruit, huh? Listen, I'm gonna get right to it. I've been having a problem with the space monster. I've been trying all, all day and I can't seem to destroy it. Hopefully you'll have more luck than me. It's, it's every gameplay style except RPG. All you gotta do is shoot the th this thing to death. Just remember this, you, can, you can't let it whack you. Oh, looks like it's launching an attack on us now. I, wh what did that say? Okay, I think it said press X to shoot. Is it intentional that my ship looks like a nose? Yeah, right, here it comes. Oh god. If I, like, pulse the attack button, it seems to to like that. I don't know what I'm supposed to be hitting, though. I'm seeing explosions, so I'm assuming just like anything. Oh, I'm assuming just like anything. <laughs> Join me. Oh my god. My child. Good. Uh-oh. Good. Good. I get the ear, get the ear. There we go. Wow, you did it. I've been trying to beat that thing all day. What are you two doing? Have you both been playing games this whole time? You were meant to be cleaning. Get out of here, you're both fired. Oh, dang, my bad. You didn't get that one either. You, um, you were making this show exciting, that's for sure. You know the drill, you have to spin the wheel. Have another spin at the wheel. Video game designer. Hey, I'm doing that right now. <laughs> Looks like you got, uh... That's not a mistake. Spin the wheel again. <laughs> oh, you got Exterminator! I sure- it's the best character from Citizens of Earth! <laughs> I sure hope you hate bugs, or this'll get emotional. Don't mess this up. Oh, hi, so you're the new kid. Cool, so that means I get to teach you how to be a top exterminator. You see, I kind of lie when I place that ad looking for new staff. Most exterminators hate insects, but not me. To me, this job is an act. I do it to save the bugs from certain death. So I shall have the best insect resort island the world has ever seen. I need you to help me with my plans. You'll have to help me catch all the bugs in this block of land here. I use nets to avoid violence. It's okay, I saw it in a video game. If, if you're a good sport, I might even invite you to my island. This will be easy, all you gotta do is hit X to swing the net. Talk to me when you catch them all. Oh, that's how, like, like the net works in, like, in, like... One of the Zelda games, I don't know which one off the top of my head, I think one of the GBA ones? Which I wouldn't be surprised given that this game feels very like Game Boy Advance coded. I don't really know how to word it. Like, I don't know, something about like the style kind of reminds me of like Game Boy Advance aesthetic, you know? Nice, we're one step closer to it. Looks like you're, uh, you missed one. Go take care of it. Oh, those are flowers. I thought those were insects. Oh, the. 
Uh oh. Oh! Oh my god! Right, this is an RPG! <laughs> I love these bees so much! <laughs> Not quite sure if I understood how, what to do there. What? Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> yeah, remember what I said? Like, like... Oh, this is what they were doing! Okay, yeah, this is one of the mini-games now! <laughs> Remember what I was saying earlier, like, like, this is kind of like... It does like the, the little mini-game to attack thing, but like, they're all WarioWare inspired. There we go. I, I really like the look of these battles. <laughs> Beat down. <laughs> it just throws the money at you. What are you doing? I told you to protect the bugs. I leave you alone for five minutes and you're over here punching bees. You're banned from Bug Island. Get out of my sight. You didn't get uh, get the job? I don't know what to say. Usually everyone who comes here gets a job. I guess you're not cut out for uh, for the workforce. We cannot help you. You must leave now. <laughs> Turns out I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. <laughs> it's... Where does the plot want me to go then? Uh. Oh. Gorilla Burger. Staff wanted. Immediate start. We'll hire anyone. Call me. That was a good prologue. <laughs> Like, it very quickly establishes, like, who this character is, like, the main struggle of not being able to find a job, like, some good comedy in there, you know? I kind of wish I got to see more gameplay, if the, or some more of the battles, if that makes sense, but, yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, this place looks terrible. We sell soups and other things. Okay. Oh. What is this? Who are you? Uh, uh, what? I see now. You're here for a job. Gross. Looks like I have no choice. You see, all my other staff left me because I didn't pay them. It's fine, though. They were uh, deadbeats. Are you a deadbeat? You better ho I bet you better hope not. I'll fire you too. Now let's see what you can do. What are you talking to me for? Clean up the place. Yes, you clean those tables. My customers are going to arrive, so I have no uh, no time to show you around. Remember this: don't mix up their orders. Don't leave uh, don't leave a mess. Don't make them mad. This is your life now, and it looks like I'm your new boss. Get to work. Hey, everyone, welcome to Let's Play Carrie's Order Up. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> oh, eight. Uh, 
Uh, do I just give it to you? There we go. Okay, you're number 12. 11. Twenty-five. Ooh. Eleven. Seventeen. Wait, no! Oh! Did I give that to the right person? Okay, I think I did that well. Zero. <laughs> well, kid, I don't know what to say. Oh, I know. That was awful. You are my only staff, though, so I guess you can stay. Before you go, I need you to take out the rubbish. Take this with you. A knife! <laughs> It's a jungle out there, kid. Make sure you don't toss that knife away. Things will, be get, a will get a lot harder for you if you do. When I got into that business, I had a gun. Anyway, just throw the rubbish in the, in, in the skip out. In the skips out. Throw that rubbish in the skips out. Who could that be? Well, what are you waiting for? Go answer the phone. Hey, mate. Sorry to call you so late, I just wanted to say congratulations on landing a job. Like, I don't normally do this, but would you like to save your game? I have a feeling you're going to normally do this. There's money up there. Oh, I thought, okay. <laughs> wow, rude. Anyway, what was I saying? Take out the rubbish. Oh my god. I love that this has somewhat become a common thing in indie games. It's like, yeah, we, we don't really want to like anim or like animate or like sprite the character holding something. So instead, we'll just put the sprite for the thing they're carrying on top of their head. Like it's so funny, and it's less work. <laughs> Hi there, nice night out, huh? What's wrong, pal? We're just talking, right? Listen, you shouldn't be out here without anything to protect yourself. Did you, didn't you? did you know it's very dangerous out here? What if you're into someone like me? Mystery man. What does beatdown do? Defend is a skill. That's different. Oh, it restores MP as well. I like when, when defending has like utility like that. Oh, ah. He doesn't give you a lot of time. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, fuck me, I... <laughs> fuck you, Panda Cloud! me the tell. <laughs> I'm gonna defend this time. I want to try beat down again. It restores one? I was expecting it to restore like five or something. Timing for that for that is kind of strict. Okay, I want to get this. I was mashing that a lot, that didn't even fill it up like a third. 
I feel like I'm missing something with that skill. I'm bad at this. Okay, I- I was hitting X there. What am I missing? I'm missing something with this. I'm hitting X! when he makes that smile. Is it a different tell? I just mashed it there. There's like a white pixel there. I guess if I hit that, it's like a critical hit or something. turn. The game is letting me get away of just mashing the button. I do not think I like that. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, passing turn. I feel like there's something I'm missing here. Oh my god! <laughs> Bye! Looks like you didn't need that knife after all. What have I- what have you done? That's not part of the plan. I suppose there's no time to waste. Bring his body inside. We've got some cooking to do... Uh... It's done. Oh my god. Listen, it could have been avoided. We have to cook that deadbeat's body. The sooner you accept your disgusting decisions, the better. You know, I was always told to never let good food go to waste. It couldn't hurt to try just a little bit. I did not expect cannibalism in this game. Oh my god. What is that sensation? I have never tasted anything so good. It's delicious. Yes. Why didn't I try it sooner? I need to eat more, much more. Okay, back to reality. I've got it. I can monetize this taste sensation. Let's cuff a couple more of these deadbeats and serve them. We'll sell hamburgers, knuckle sandwiches, if you will. No, even better, we'll sell knuckle sandwiches. 
Is that why the game is called that now? I see. Oh my god. Huh? Uh, this, this is the game doing that, that's not your YouTube video. Knuckle Sandwich 1? What? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I think that's the developer, Andy Brophy. Can I change my settings now? I'll think about it. Wow, is there no way to, to like, turn auto run on? Huh. You're still here. You can help me with my ma uh, master plan tomorrow. Go home. Chapter end, wow. So I guess that's the end of the demo. It said it, it went until the end of chapter one. Big bluff. What are you watching? What? <laughs> this game's visual style is all over the frickin' place. <laughs> hey, mate. So that, um, that got out of hand really fast, huh? Oh, don't worry. I'm not. Um, I'm not here to give you a hard time. Judging someone for a choice they didn't get to make isn't very productive. I have no choice. What I have no idea what I would what I would have done in your situation. So about what happened at the diner. Did you want to talk about it? Yeah. What else can we can we really say? It's not an ideal situation to be in. Sorry, I'm not being very helpful right now. Last I checked, accidentally murdering someone is frowned upon around here. I think it'd be a good idea to keep quiet about it. You won't be of much use if uh, if the cops find out what you did. Anyway, onwards and upwards. We have a lot of work to do, so we should forget all about it. I was going to ease you into this, but considering what just happened, it does feel like we have a bit of a time limit. Are you ready? That's right. <laughs> We've got a job to do, and it can't be done out here. I can't believe we have to go to the go to Goblin Design Tower. There it is! <laughs> hey mate, listen, sorry to do this right now, but this is the end of the demo. I know we just got started, but I wouldn't want to spoil too much. I guess you'll just have to wait for the full release of Knuckle Sandwich. You can wishlist the game on Steam right now. We're getting dramatically close to finishing this adventure. It'd be sick if you joined us where, um, when we were ready. I'll see you then. I'll do that later. Um... <laughs> this... wow. <laughs> I wish I got to play around more with the 
battle system in this demo, but like the visual style, story, writing, like everything is is just spot on right now, and I'm really looking forward to like the full release of this. <laughs> but yeah, that was Knuckle Sandwich. I will see you folks later. Thanks for watching.